When the fighters from the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, or ISIL, captured Iraq's second city, Mosul, the world woke up. Sunni hardliners had the Iraqi army on the run. But Iraq's crisis had been festering for years, and ISIL could count on the support of a wide range of Sunni tribal leaders who'd long lost faith in Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. He's turned out to be um, a sectarian pro-Shiite um, leader. Uh, marginalizing the Kurds, marginalizing the Sunnis, alienating the Sunnis, alienating the Kurds, and uh, pursuing a very centralized government in Baghdad. So that really was a recipe for disaster. Maliki has been prime minister for eight years, the former Shia dissident driven into exile under Saddam Hussein, fighting, he says, to preserve Iraq's unity against supporters of the old regime and terrorists many of whom now have a safe haven over the border in Syria. But Mr. Maliki is coming under unprecedented criticism, not just at home, but also abroad. In London, oil executives gather to discuss the Iraqi situation, and the mood is somber. People have come to this conference because of the huge profits to be made in Iraqi oil. Most of the people here want a peaceful, united Iraq. Many of them are worried that the country is in fact in danger of breaking up. This man was once the United States ambassador in Baghdad. He sat down with Nouri al-Maliki many times in the past. If he could do so again, right now, what would he tell him? Act immediately to repair relations with the Kurds and uh, reach out to the Sunnis. And uh, this isn't a question now of meeting people halfway. He's going to have to take most of the initiatives and do it quickly. Is Iraq salvageable as, as a viable state? Iraq is in serious trouble right now. Do you think it will break up irretrievably? Uh, every day I think we should take a look at the situation and form our opinions based on what happened in the last 24 hours. Iraq has always struggled with its inherent contradictions, a history of violence between Sunni, Shias and Kurds, and little tradition of compromise. Outside intervention, above all from the United States and Iran, has rarely been helpful. Mr. Maliki may well succeed in keeping the Sunni rebels out of Baghdad, but convincing all Iraqis that he will govern in the national interest will prove more difficult. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera.